In this guide, we will be looking at BD SUP to SUBS Move Captions feature. It allows you to change both the horizontal and vertical position of subtitles. Perhaps you have subtitles which overlap the movie, but you would like to move them so they only appear in the letterbox or black border area below it. Or maybe you prefer your subtitles on the left or right instead of the center of the picture. All of this and much more can be done by moving the subtitles. First, you will need to open the Move All Captions dialog. You can do this from the Edit menu. Once the dialog opens, you will see a preview of your subtitles, including a representation of video to show where the letterbox ends and the movie frame begins. The first setting we will look at is X position. This controls where the subtitle displays relative to the x-axis, in other words, left to right. It can be set to left, right, or center. You may also specify an offset for left or right position subtitles. This will add space between the edge of the frame or picture and the subtitles. Next, we will look at Y position. This controls where the subtitle displays on the Y axis. In other words, top to bottom. The options are just inside the picture, meaning above the letterbox, or at the bottom of the frame. Y position also gives you the option to set a vertical offset. If you are changing the Y position to move subtitles entirely into the letterbox, you may find that resizing them is also required. Keep in mind this will result in some amount of quality loss which may or may not be visible to the human eye. You can find more information on resizing subtitles in Afterdon's video guide for BD sub to sub conversion options. If you want to be sure of where your subtitles will display relative to the picture and letterbox portions of the video frame, you need to make sure BD sub to sub is using the correct aspect ratio. You may even want to do this before you start adjusting the subtitle position. But it's important to understand a few things first. For starters, BD sub to sub assumes your video is widescreen, meaning the entire frame has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. We will get back to that in a minute when we talk about manually setting the aspect ratio. You also need to know that BD sub to sub doesn't have any way of knowing what the aspect ratio of the actual video you are dealing with is, which determines where the letterbox ends and the movie begins. The default setting of 2.333 to 1 represents a safe guess for most theatrical movies, which is not a particularly good substitute for setting it accurately. Finally, the aspect ratio of your movie may not be what you think it is. You will usually find the aspect ratio of the movie listed on the disc case. However, if it says 2.35 to 1, it will be an approximation. Depending on the age of the movie, how the movie was framed during production and post-production, and even how it was transferred and encoded, the real aspect ratio will often be higher or lower. It may take some trial and error to get the subtitles positioned exactly where you want them with respect to the letterbox or movie border. Keeping all that in mind, let's look at the aspect ratio settings available. The available presets are 2.40 to 1, 2.35 to 1, and 21 to 9, which is approximately 2.333 to 1. You can also set the aspect ratio manually. The lowest aspect ratio you can set, or at least the lowest one that will make any difference, is 1.78 to 1, which is basically 16 by 9. You should also use this for any lower aspect ratios like 4 to 3, also called 1.33 to 1, or 1.66 to 1. 
Once you have finished adjusting the position of your subtitles, click the Move All Subtitles button to complete the operation.